Can you believe it's already December? Where did 2023 go? This will be my December TBR, the books I want to read in December. My name is Jim, this is my channel, books, reading and stuff. I have 10 books on my TBR. If I'm going to hit my Goodreads target, I need to read 13 books this month. I've read 87 books up to the end of November. My target was 100 books. I haven't managed to read 13 books in a month this year. In March I read 11, which is the largest number of books I've read in a month. So I think I'm likely to just miss my Goodreads target. First, Martin Chuzzlewit. This I started on the 1st of October. I hope by the time this video goes out, I'll have finished this. It's a mammoth of a book. It's 802 pages in this edition. This is the only Dickens novel where the characters go to America, at least in part of it, hence the stars and stripes on the front cover. It's not, it isn't one of the favourite Dickens books. It's not one of my favourite Dickens books either. It's, But I want to read all of Dickens' novels. And now, once this is finished, I'll have just Barnaby Rudge and Nicholas Nickleby to finish all of his completed novels. Second, I've got Emily St. John Mandel, The Sea of Tranquility. This is science fiction with some time travel and some historical fiction. I read Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. She's a Canadian writer. And I believe there'll be some pandemics in this as well. The Station Eleven was after a pandemic. And I think pandemics influence a lot her writing. One of the events in December is Remember December, where we're encouraged to reread. I'm not much of a rereader, although I have been starting to look at rereading. And I did read East of Eden again this year, and last year I reread The Great Gatsby, and I also reread Blind Assassin this year. And for this event, I got Wuthering Heights, another Victorian novel, but <laughs> not as big as Martin Chuzzlewit. It's less than half the size of Martin Chuzzlewit, which is a bit encouraging. It's not as big as Jane Eyre either. Wuthering Heights was the first Bronte novel I read. I think I read this back in the 1980s, so it's a long time since I've read it, so I think it's time for a reread to see what I think of it now. I have a good impression of it, but memory is a strange creature. I'm not having a lot of luck with Met Gallery requests at the moment. I have four requests pending, whether they'll happen or not, or whether be added to the declined request, I don't know. But I do have one NetGalley book, the NetGalley ARC, although it's not an ARC anymore because the book's out on November the 7th, which is Fuel to the Flames, which I don't know a lot about. It's by Lauren Street, who I've never read before. It's a crime thriller. Uh, there's been three tourists who have been burnt to death. And will there be some more? killings or will they find out who did this and why they did it also i'm doing the read what you own challenge i have a shelf of physical tbr here and from that shelf i've pulled a couple of books that i intend to read before i buy any other books this is sharp objects by Gillian flynn which was a bestseller I don't know much about it, but I like green writing on a black background. Another book I don't know much about is Actress by Anne Enright. Nigella Lawson says it's truly exquisite. If there's such a thing as the perfect novel, this is it. I don't know how valid <laughs> Nigella Lawson's comments are until I've read it. This was swapped with me by an Irish person at the Tbilisi Book Swap and they recommended it, so I hope it's good. You can let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books I talk about. Seventh, I've got Night Wings by Robert Silverberg. As a teenager, I read a lot of Robert Silverberg. This is science fiction, a tale of pilgrimage, hope, betrayal and transformation, according to the blurb. Uh, I haven't read this one. I haven't read 
a lot of Robert Zilberg since I was a teenager. The last I read was about Gilgamesh, which was last year, which wasn't too impressive. I am hoping this one being more in the science fiction realm will be more to my taste. Then also reading what I own. I've got some Kafka. I've got two short stories from Kafka that I, I want to reread as well. The Metamorphosis, which is his most famous short story, and it's his longest work that was actually finished. Kafka wrote three novels, America, The Trial and The Castle, but none of his novels were finished. But Metamorphosis, which is a short story, maybe a novella because it's quite long, was finished. And it was one of the works that got me into Kafka originally. I think it was the first Kafka I read was Metamorphosis, so I want to reread that. I also want to reread The Hunger Artist, which was his last short story. And he read it while he... He himself was dying of hunger. He had tuberculosis, so he couldn't swallow. So he couldn't. So it was very in tune with the protagonist and the hunger artist. And finally, a book I'm looking forward to, although I hear it's quite heartrending, is "Once There Were Wolves" by Charlotte McConaughey, which is about a fictitious tale about reintroducing wolves into Scotland. The UK, like Ireland, is the part of Europe that's lost the most of its forest. And the idea of wolves is to reinvigorate the forest like they did in Yellowstone Park. But Scotland is a much smaller area and the locals are not too happy about the idea, as you can imagine. And finally, a book I'm looking forward to, although I hear it's quite heartrending, is Once There Were Wolves by Charlotte McConaughey, which is about a fictitious tale about reintroducing wolves into Scotland. The UK, like Ireland, is the part of Europe that's lost the most of its forest. And the idea of wolves is to reinvigorate the forest like they did in Yellowstone Park, but Scotland is a much smaller area. And the locals are not too happy about the idea, as you can imagine. So that was my TBR for December. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these, what you thought of the books. And I will see you on the next video.